Hey there fellow game devs, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and notification so you don't miss any future videos. Now, brace yourself for some exciting news. Today is the day we've all been waiting for. Unity 2022 LTS has just released, and boy do we have a lot to talk about. In this video, we're gonna take a deep dive into some of the hidden gems in this brand new release of Unity. We'll go beyond the headlines and explore a few aspects of the Unity 2022 LTS release that you might not see elsewhere. First, let's do a quick rundown of those headlines though, just to make sure you don't miss anything important. First up, dots in the Entity Component System are now fully supported in the Unity Editor. If you've been looking at using dots, now is definitely the time to dive in. And if you want to build a multiplayer game, Unity's netcode for game objects and netcode for entities are now production ready. We also get some great improvements with HDRP, like a beautiful new water system, the ability to do procedural fog and volumetric effects with the volumetric materials and shader graph, They've also added new samples for hair and eyes. If you're using HDRP, you're definitely gonna wanna upgrade. And if you're using URP, forward plus rendering is now available so you can enable a lot of lights in your scene without killing performance. They've also got LOD crossfade in there, which is great, looks beautiful, but if you use it, make sure that you watch the latest Game Dev Show episode where we talked about the memory characteristics of that. They've also added decal layers, made it so you can do a full screen shader graph node and added some performance improvements as well as a built-in render pipeline upgrader so that you can go to URP without having to do a whole bunch of work. And of course, like always, they added more platform support. Now let's take a look at some of the awesome gems that I think you're gonna wanna know about. First, if you haven't seen the search everywhere option in Unity, it's been around since 2021, you can hit Control K and then search for whatever it is you wanna find and it'll show you all of the things that match in your project or your hierarchy. But it had a lot of extra cool functionality that wasn't obvious. Now in 2022, there's a visual search query, so you can find the different options available very easily and build really advanced searches. Let's search for a brick and then add a brick script to it. Now I'll delete that script from our project so we have a missing script. The UI here automatically updates, but that's not the cool part. If I hit X and go back, I can do a little search here with the plus and look at all of these filters. One of the coolest filters is the missing one, and I can search for a missing script and then find everything that's got a missing script. And you can see this is in my hierarchy, not in my project. I can go select it and now find all of my missing scripts or all kinds of other things very easily. For example, if I delete the brick, I should be able to now find missing assets as well. Now let's talk about material variants. This will really revolutionize the way that you kind of manage materials in Unity. Material variants allow you to reuse your materials kind of like prefabs. You can think of them like templates or prefabs that you can create variants of based on that template. Then you can change properties in the base one and have that apply or propagate down to all of your variants just like you would in a prefab. One of the really popular features of 2020 LTS is the introduction of the splines package. The splines provide a framework for working with curves and paths and allow you to do things like generate objects alongside a path or create trajectories, draw shapes, or just use them to move things around nice and smoothly. This is a pretty cool pack. We had an interesting discussion about this last Friday. If you really wanna learn a lot more about it, then I'll drop a link down below so you can go check that out. Another really cool feature if you're using 2D is the addition of Delaney mesh support. Now, I looked into this a bit and can loosely understand what it does, but essentially it's making polygon colliders work better in Unity. It does this by making triangles that have a bigger angle on the inside, and that's about as much as I understand. Oh, I almost forgot one of the coolest parts about the search window that you're definitely gonna wanna know, and that's this little thing right here can turn into a grid that shows you all of the data on an object. Here I've got an item scriptable object, and you can see all of my properties there, and these are just customizable by hitting the plus and then going and selecting whatever thing I want. 